Hello guys and welcome to today's interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through your Madrid's latest and important updates. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Arbel Leipzig manager Marco Rose discusses Jude Bellingham, Carlo Ancelotti, Vinicius Jr. and Jose Mato ahead of UEFA Champions League clash versus Real Madrid. Claiming we fear nothing. We are going to be discussing you through that on this episode as we move forward. And shortly after that, we will quickly turn our attention elsewhere as Camavinga names Real Madrid legend as his idol, reminiscing Champions League triumph with the club. It was crazy. He said, while reflecting, on their Champions League triumph in his first season as a Madridista. We will be discussing you through that on this episode as we move forward. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bell so you do not miss on our next update. Real Madrid will lock horns with Bundesliga side Alba Leipzig on Tuesday night in Germany, in the first leg of the UEFA Champions League round of 16 tie. Ahead of the long anticipated game, Arbel Leipzig manager Marco Rose spoke to the media and discussed his team's chances against the most successful team in the competition's history. We fear nothing. We are happy to play against Real Madrid in our stadium. That is what we want. That is what we have fought for to be here in the last 16, said Rose. Arba Leipzig had defeated Real Madrid 3 2 at home in the group stages of the UEFA Champions League last season. But Rose insisted that it will not have any bearings. On the clash saying they are an excellent opponent last season the game was different without Vinicius Jr but he is back and gives a lot of quality to the team they are in a good moment they know what it means to play this competition and win it we must focus on everyone Brahim Diaz Rodrigo goes Tony Cruz, Luka Modric, etc. They are all excellent players. We can name others, but we have a good squad. Good players. We are going to give everything on the pitch and take our chances. Real Madrid head into the clash without the star man Bellingham as he is out with an ankle injury. But Rose, who had worked with the Englishman at Borussia Dortmund, stated that he would not believe the midfielder was unavailable until he saw the team sheet. I know Jude. He is going to do everything to play the return game. He might see other doctors. I don't know. We will see if he is in or not, he said said the Arbor Leipzig boss. On Bellingham's move to Real Madrid, he added, I think he has come to the right team and has surprised us with his performance. With a lot of goals and unbelievable performances. I have had him for a year. He is a great kid with a great mentality. He moves very well. Rose added that if Bellingham is unfit, Real Madrid have the resources to cope, saying, if he doesn't play, there are other players like Brahim Diaz or maybe they play in a 4-3-3 with Joselo in attack. There are small details in Madrid game that will change. He is a very important player. Rose then 
lavished serious praises on another Real Madrid star Vinicius Junior saying he plays on the outside and on the inside too. He wants the ball. He makes a lot of duels. He wants to score and he scores. It is very difficult for the defense to stop him. On Ancelotti saying Vinicius is the best player in the world, Marco Royce said. He is one of the best in his position, of course. You can say that. There are other very good players at Madrid, like Bellingham. They score goals and create difficulties for the opponents. He does a good job. Score goals, give assists and support the team. It is incredible how he defends. When asked about his opinion on Ancelotti and his management style, Rose replied, Ancelotti should not be discussed. He has won the Champions League many times. He is very calm. It is not the first time we have played against him. He has a lot of personality, a good character. He does a fantastic job. Very calmly, he is a great coach. There is a lot of a lot to learn from him. The Arbel Leipzig manager concluded. So I haven't discussed and concluded with that we are going to quickly turn our attention elsewhere as Eduardo Camavinga names Real Madrid legend as his idol while talking about Real Madrid Champions League triumph with the club saying it was crazy. Speaking to Real Madrid TV, midfield prodigy Eduardo Camavinga opened up on winning the Champions League in his very first season at the club. Terming the experience as crazy. Camavinga was signed by Real Madrid in the summer of 2021 from Rennes in a deal worth around 30 million euros. Even though he had a relatively slow start to life at the Santiago Bernabeu under the manager Carlo Ancelotti, the French midfield sensation played his part in the Merengue's winning the Champions League, La Liga and the Spanish Super Cup. Talking on the Champions League triumph ahead of Real Madrid round of 16 clash against RB Leipzig, Camavinga said, The 2022 Champions League in my first season was crazy. The road was even crazier. I was talking to the others and they had never experienced anything like that before. We were losing and we came back. We felt a lot of emotions from the beginning to the end. The road to winning it made the victory even better. I will always remember the moment when I received the trophy because it was my first title. He further added. Kamavinga then went on to stress the importance of the competition of the Champions League for himself and Real Madrid ahead of the clash, saying, The Champions League is important for the club and for me too. The fact that I have already won it helps. I have a lot more experience in the competition, but I want to win a lot more. Tomorrow's game will be played away in Germany with the second leg tie set to go down at the Santiago Bernabeu. In early March, healing the atmosphere at Real Madrid's home turf, Camavinga remarked, I started playing as soon as I arrived, so I didn't have time to see my face in the stadium. The first thing I remember is the anthem. It is incredible. Sometimes I sing it when I arrive on the pitch. It is an iconic legendary stadium. It is the best club in the world and I only have good memories. Discussing what it means to play for Real Madrid, he added, The fact that I play for the best team in the world is an immense source of pride. You have to celebrate it every day because not everyone has the opportunity to play here. Finally, signing off, Camavinga went on to name Real Madrid legend Zinedine Zidane as his idol, saying, Zidane is an idol for the French. 
I discovered him through YouTube and through my father, who also loves football. I am proud to follow in the footsteps of my idol, he concluded. So I haven't talked and concluded on that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. See you next time and Hala Madrid to us all.